How's it going guys? Dua Face here. Welcome back to a brand new series. Well, welcome to one. Where I'm going to go through every single map in about 10 per episode. Because it's going to be a 10 part series. Where I'm going to look with the camera controls closely at every single stage that I can find. In order to try and find de hidden details and secrets. So let's see if we can discover anything in this. So we're going to be starting with Battlefield. So let's see what's in it. Let's just go with any character. If we zoom out and look around and look underneath us, it turns out that there is a fully rendered ocean underneath the battlefield. So if we move around a bit, yeah. Like, look, there's even a completely different waterfall area that we would never get to see. So normally, we just see this part. But if we also look around, there are floating islands, there are entire structures off in the distance, and mountains that we would literally never be able to see. There's even a little chain thing down there. I don't know if you can usually see that or not. But yeah, this is Battlefield in its true glory. There are waterfalls everywhere that are all moving at the same time. There are icebergs. There's just so much here that you'd never see in a normal thing. Which is ridiculous, but just awesome. So let's move on to Big Battlefield. Let's see if there's any differences there. If not, we're just going to have that as a part of Battlefield. So next we have Big Battlefield. Let's see if anything changes. So, now that we're in Big Battlefield, if we zoom out and just look around, it seems that it's exactly the same in its details. Just something I noticed though, there's even like a little village or bunch of buildings down there. There's an entire little town over there. It's just, like, this was all made for the sole purpose of like, just scenery. And you don't see most of it. It's almost criminal that all of this is hidden. Well, look at this. Just... There's waterfalls everywhere. Alright, so let's move on to Final Destination. This is going to be much more of an interesting one. Simply because, like... It has multiple phases, so we're going to have to look around quite a bit. So let's do it. So next up, we got Final Destination. Let's check this place out. So in this first phase, there is space everywhere. Like... It's sort of obvious that it would all be here, but... Look at the amount of stuff that we just never see. Well, I know it's just the space, I know it's just all that stuff, but interestingly enough, a lot of these like little pixely things we do see, and there's not a lot of them off screen, but just, if we just look around, there's a lot of space that we never would see. So now let's transition to a different part of Final Destination. So here we have entered a different part, and it seems that a big cone has indeed materialized and completely surrounded the place. Look, they, they, this has all been built up. Look, it's just a huge ass cone surrounding the stage. And there's nothing to it. No one even, no one will ever see this. Unless you whip out the camera controls and do some proper searching. That is absolutely insane. Now let's move on to a different part of it. So here's the day, here's the, I presume the Galeem style part. And there's actually a lot of water down here. This is, I've never seen water in this sort of area, yet here it is. Look, there's just water and clouds everywhere. I never expected to see any water in here, because it's never shown to you. And there's just clouds everywhere, of course. There's just, there's too much detail. There's too much. Let's move to a different transition. So I thought I might as well point this out too. From what I can tell, these aren't just like sprites. Judging by the way they move, these are all 3D columns of light and dark. They're all just shooting around the stage, causing no lag. Like, how did the game even handle it? Where did the beams even come from? We'll never even know. Just, yeah, let's move to the proper transition part. So here's the, dark, the transition into darkness. It's much like the one into light, just an enormous cube, like enormous cone. It just completely formed around and taken hold of the entire stage. And it just caves in. Look, what's at the other side of that? Let's find out. So if we take a look around, here's what the darkness looks like. So there's all these dark particles in the air that have their own like textures and stuff. But look, look at this. It's just, this is much like the light one. We never see this. This, this it, it doesn't exist. We, 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 it might as well not exist, but here it is now. There's just clouds everywhere. Just dark tentacle stuff. What is that? We got... Just, just look at this. It looks so good. A 
Um, oh. Moods, yeah. So I might do two more little transitions. Just a uh, heads up. There is something that is spawned in the distance. And you can very clearly see it. So let's see what happens. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what happened? Oh, no. So yeah, now we're just back where we started. That, th that thing of light just erupts. Leaving behind this little octagon shape. So yeah, just... Wow. Final Destination. All of its phases have so much that you'll never get to see in a normal fight. Wow. Now let's move on to the next map. Next up we got Peach's Castle from Super Mario. So let's do it. Okay. So in this, you can see that there are indeed the classic stuff. You can rotate around it. And you can see all those things. But as it turns out, the background is just a still painting. It will never move, no matter what you do. Now this is really weird to me, because like the bumper and everything is completely flat. And all the classic stuff is like, oh, oh look at the trees. Look, they, they rotate with the camera. Look, they're always going to face you, no matter where you are. No matter what time, those trees will never leave your sight. Oh no, never mind. So yeah, there's not much to see here. Just rotating it without the background moving is really weird for my eyes to see. So let's just continue normally. For what I would consider the fourth map, Congo Jungle. So if we look around here, we can see that the barrel cannon down here is a completely flat sprite, which is a nice touch. But again, despite this map being one of the classics like Peach's Castle, the sprites wrap around the stage and you'd never see most of them. There's a lot of background in the sky you wouldn't see either, unless you go into the camera controls like I did. But look at this, you would never see this normally. And look, the tree, if you take a quick look, the sprites under the tree trunks seem to be striped, like, cut up. Which I think is a bit odd, but... Either way, this is still really cool. Nothing's gonna really top Final Destination, though. Oh, and look, the tree, the tree leaves are all separate sprites. Yeah, that looks a bit weird. Look at those two trees and the bushes and stuff. Anyways, let's continue with the video. Next up, we're gonna check out Hyrule Castle. Alright, so here is the map. And much like Peach's Castle, it seems to be a relatively still background, although it does seem to move a tiny bit with the camera. But as for the actual image, it just seems to, like, just sort of move a tiny bit. As for the map itself, this map just seems to be a big amount of a big polygon, almost. And also sort of fades off instead of being, like, rendered until it disappears. So yeah, another, again, very simple. A lot... This is just a simple map. Oh look, the, the, the little pixels have shadows though. The little flat tops of the castle, so that's awesome. Let's continue. So to end it, I felt like, since no one's done it, I'm gonna check the training mode stage. So as it turns out, you can't actually activate camera controls in this area. However, what I can do is put it into fix to show you guys just how big the stage is. Look how tall that is. Look, I can just, no matter what I do, look, I'm gonna start up smashing this nest. And see how high it goes. Look, that's an up smash at such high percent. Not even gone yet. Look! Look how tall the stage is. In, on, in Battlefield and Final Destination, he'd be dead. See, look, look, he... The death zone isn't even... You, the, the death zone's visible. That blue line up top isn't even the death zone. It's the thing before it. Whoa, so yeah. That was, um... That was part one of, um... Detail Dive. I went for that name, because Boundary Break is just like... We can't, we can't be calling it Boundary Break. We gotta, we gotta give respect to She Says. Is that, is that his name or have I gotten the wrong guy? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. You alive? You're still alive, eh? You died! Yes, just like Ness, you can leave now.